Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie Müller, a research engineer at BRGM, the French Geological Survey, and coordinator of the PROPER project, a project that aims to develop new sustainability metrics to improve recycling process performances regarding resource use, environmental impacts, and economic benefits. The project and the consortium was built around a problematic brought by extractive ceramics recycling, a French SME specialized in the reprocessing of industrial waste to produce secondary raw materials. And being able to scientifically assess the sustainability of their processes would allow extractive to attract new company shareholders and new business opportunities. And to assess this problematic, a relatively small consortium was built with the expertise and sustainability metrics brought by both PRGM, specialized in assessing the sustainability of raw materials production and developing science-based resource efficiency indicators, and RDC Environment, a Belgian consulting company specialized in life cycle assessment and that has developed a specific methodology to assess the social cost of resource use. Partners are funded by Innoveris and Adem for a total cost of almost 443 kilo euros distributed in 43 person months for a three years duration project. The overall goal of the project is to develop scientific based indicators focusing in resource efficiency for primary and secondary raw material production processes and intended to company decision makers and operators. These indicators will bring an innovative vision of the resource, environmental, and economic impacts and benefits. And for that, two indicators are foreseen. One indicator on resource productivity and one second indicator on resource efficiency. These indicators will be test tested here on extra type production processes, but finally aims to be applied on whatever raw material production process, being primary and or secondary. The project was so submitted in topic five, cross-cutting topic, at, as it aims really to cover the entire raw materials life cycle. The benefits we see in the Aramin call is first the size of the con consortium that is quite flexible. Here, having a relative small consortium, else focusing, focusing sorry, on a single problematic and that with a close collaboration with all partners of the project. A second benefit is being able to build transnational consortium to look for the best available expertise in Europe and in third party countries in the topic of raw materials and sustainability. And finally, the Aramin joint call covers a large part of the tier scale, allowing to deal with innovation action and or industrial operations. And a tip before applying is to contact the different funding agency foreseen in your project proposal to, to talk with them about, about this proposal. Thank you for listening and good luck.